Hello, and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show where we talk to you about one cool thing that we've been reviewing and testing out here in PC Labs. And you might be surprised to know that we test coffee. This is the Illy Y5 uh, coffee maker, and I'm Tom Brandt, this is Will Greenwald, and we would like to make some coffee for you today. <laughs> Clearly, uh, we, yeah, so. Um, Shut up. <laughs> All right, so the, yes, the Illy Y5 coffee maker, uh, it's currently brewing some uh, drip brew coffee. Um, and if you have any questions about this coffee maker or any other coffee maker that you might be uh, interested in, in buying, do let us know in the comments. Uh, we will. <laughs> we would like to know your comments because we need coffee. And uh, and if you're watching this later on Facebook, uh, or, I'm sorry, on YouTube, come back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time to Facebook where we will have yet another one cool thing for you. So um, yeah, so basically this is the Illy Y5. What's so special about this? It makes coffee. <laughs> uh, he uses these Ipper espresso pods. I don't know what Ipper means. It's just, it's on here. It makes both coffee and espresso. Right now it's making coffee. Then it will be making espresso. Okay. Its main thing is that it is connected, so you can control it with an app. Right. So you can. So this is technologically it. advanced. Yeah, it's a, for a coffee smart maker. coffee maker. We wouldn't review it otherwise. We yeah. usually like to have a tech hook to get it in right. the lab. Sure, sure. Uh, come on, it's almost done. Almost. Oops, drop the. Oh. Button. Yeah. So, and you might be surprised to know that as a mm -hmm. tech coffee maker, this thing costs a lot of money. Three hundred. Uh, yeah, $300 Honestly, for, for an app-connected coffee maker. That's for, a lot. For app-connected, not that much. Oh, wait, wait, you're gonna, are you gonna put it in there? Making it a red-eye. Oh. Uh, honestly, like we've seen other connected coffee makers around 250, 300. Uh, the Bonaverde Berlin, which also roasts beans and has its own sort of pod system, uh, is I think six or 700. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's the Philips Seiko Avanti, which is like the $2,000 machine, which does a whole lot of different stuff. Now it's done, that's good. Still okay. tripping. Okay. okay, so now what happened there when you, uh, so where did the pods go? In my tummy. No, the pods. Oh, uh, it pulls out here. There's okay. this uh, little bin that holds up to eight to 10 pods. Yeah. You just pull it out and wash it, throw it out. Um, there's actually a, re a recycling package you can get for 15 bucks. It holds up to 80 pods. You send it back to Illy and they'll recycle it. Or if you subscribe to their, uh, like shipping, you know, monthly subscription service for the capsules, they actually send you the recycling kit for free. So that's really nice. And uh, honestly, compared to K-Cups, Illy Ipper Espresso capsules aren't particularly expensive. They're a buck or less each. You can get packs for uh, packs of 21 for 19 bucks, packs of 18 for 16, 50, and packs of 14 for 14. So, and that's direct. So, like, if you can find them for discount somewhere, you can probably get it for less. So that's yeah, like lower than K cups from what I've seen. So lower than K cups, but you're still talking about a lot of money. I mean, you could well, yeah, but you are for any pod system. Yeah, right. I, basically, this is you are paying a premium price for the app experience and also for this for these pods. Now it looks like we do have a question. Yep. <laughs> Does it recognize all Android devices? Like what app can you use? Uh, it uses the My Illy app. It works with Android and iOS. Uh, it connects through Bluetooth. There isn't really any special requirements for it. Uh, a weird, like, I'm not sure if it's a bug or just this weird overbearing, you know, we want you to subscribe to our service thing, but it has this extra process, um, Illy consumption management, that for some reason stayed active on my phone in testing, which found I found annoying, and it makes perfectly good coffee without the app running. Uh, you can use the app to adjust uh, the temperature the, through like five presets, you can't actually change the precise uh, degree. And you can change the amount of coffee. Again, five presets doesn't show the exact measurement, but I think between eight and 12 ounces. Mm -hmm. And um, besides those adjustments, the app is pretty much just good for scheduling. Okay. So it isn't really necessary. And honestly, uh, now the question though is, so there are no controls as you can see on the front of this well, coffee maker. You tap it, the button's on here. So, okay, so you might not be able to say this from, from, where you're, from where you are, but basically there are two touch sensitive buttons on the top, one for drip it looks like, and the other one for espresso. Uh, espresso. Now, 
There are no temperature controls, though. So if you no. wanted to change those, which is kind of a you know key benefit, you would have to use the app, right? Yeah. The problem is you don't actually know the specific temperature. Like there might it might be hidden somewhere in the documentation, but in the app itself, it doesn't actually say the specific temp. Well, I like extra hot coffee from Starbucks. So what does that correspond to? Uh, I mean, it's going to come out hot regardless. But <laughs> we have a question, though. Is there a smart coffee device like this that's uh, Alexa enabled? Uh, off the top of my head, I'm not sure. I'm I'm sure that there are some that might be um, Wemo enabled. I think Belkin slash Mr. Coffee has a Wemo one, and if that works with Alexa, because I believe Alexa supports Wemo, you can use yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, right. And if there are any that support IFTTT, uh, you can do stuff with that. Uh, off the top of my head. I think the Mr. Coffee, possibly the Bemore Brewer, but I would have to check that. So, yeah. Check right. what's compatible first. Right, so essentially, it sounds like you might need a middleman, Wemo, the smart home interface, or IFTT, which is a very, you know... Uh, Flexible, uh, but you need to be ready to <laughs> mess with it. Yeah, it's 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 for tinkerers, basically. Um, Super powerful, though, it's great. Yeah, I mean, if Illy or Nespresso or one of these other premium companies could integrate Alexa into their, into their machine, that would be amazing. We don't actually know if they, they, we don't know. They might have done it already. It, seems, it sounds like something that, that, that would be coming if it hasn't already happened. But it is important actually for this specifically, it's Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi, so uh, you yeah. aren't able to do anything with it besides directly from your phone. Right, so that You need means... a Wi-Fi connected coffee maker for any sort of smart assistant, yeah. voice speaker -y type control. So that's a lot of money, $300 for a coffee maker with an app that if you are in bed upstairs, yep. you cannot actually, when you wake up, you cannot use that app uh, to to start this thing in your kitchen downstairs because Bluetooth range is uh, it would be a, it depends, depends far, at your house depends obviously. how far yeah but um but that that but is but the app does let you schedule it at least so if you leave a pod in overnight and just say okay make me coffee at like six it will so there's that feature but again it isn't a whole lot of options or power from the app it's right. just a couple nice bits of functionality so now we're a couple uh, sips into this coffee mm -hmm. and uh, we have woken up a little bit. And so now the I like Illy. It doesn't. I don't really need to sweeten it. It's, I'm a fan of Illy coffee. Yeah. So you the, the, there's an added benefit. You Some can people save. swear by Lavazza. Uh, yeah. It is important. This only uses Illy capsules. So, like you know. What no, about third party? No. No Green Mountain. No Lavazza. No like whatever. I don't think they have any capsules you can huh. manually fill yourself. So this is an Illy coffee device. So, but is there any like non-approved capsules that you could put in here? Like you not can that I've seen third party uh, ink cartridges or something. Not that I've seen specifically because this is like. It's not K-Cups, it is not the overwhelming format that anyone's gonna work with. It is Illy's own thing, and so, they have their own lines to do it. Uh, right. Again, with the Bonaverde Berlin, like their pods, which they put come sort of a cone filter, uh, they use their own sort of supply chain for that because that's how they do it. And, and they're all green beans, so. probably very protective of the, of, the, oh, yeah. of the copyright on those pods. Um, but yeah, so basically, there is another option if you do not want an app-connected Illy Y5, and it's significantly cheaper, right? I believe the non-app version is 150, half the price of this. Uh, and that there's a lot of money to pay for an app. Yeah, uh, because Ipper Espresso is Illy's whole line of capsules. It's their version of K cups. I think they also sell K cups in a couple different pod formats, but they have their own thing, and they have a bunch of different machines that can use it. There's a non-connected one for 150. I believe there actually is a connected one that does uh, milk frothing for 400. I mean they. Depending on how far you want to go, like short of a, I'm starting my own coffee shop and I need a giant manual coffee, like espresso right. maker, Illy has countertop stuff that works. Yeah, so this is the kind of thing you might see in you know a high-end hotel room or something like that. Possibly. Pro you know, you're not necessarily gonna be buying it for yourself, but maybe you are. Let's take another question. What do you personally at home use for coffee? Uh, I usually use a Chemex uh, filter, like with a, glass cone type thing, although I did break that a week or so ago, so I need to replace it. Uh, before that I used a Melita, which was kind of plastic, which isn't as good as Chemex, I gotta say. Uh, I like sort what of What is a Melita? That's a company that makes coffee, yeah. right? Uh, no, is... it's a company that makes filters. It's the same, it's a cone filter, you put oh, it over okay. a mug or right. a pitcher right. uh, or a pot and you just make coffee. They do have good coffee though. They I do. like Melita coffee. Yeah. Um, you know, I can make pretty much any type of coffee. I don't have an espresso maker at home. Like if it's if I need espresso, I'm gonna go out for it because I 
Yeah, now here's I'm not the a thing. huge espresso nut. Okay, so $300, right, for the Ilya Y5. Yeah. If you uh, are a casual espresso drinker, mm -hmm. you could potentially have years worth of espresso by going out to eat it or eating it after uh, a meal at a restaurant for the same price as your app connected. Uh, uh, it depends on where you live, obviously. It depends on how often you have espresso, really. It depends on how often you have espresso. But also the fact that this does drip coffee does make it quite appealing for that, too. It's not just ca uh, espresso. Yeah. And if you are an espresso enthusiast, you are probably going to have your own like manual system so you can do your own pulls and really tweak it. And those can get much more expensive than this even without app control. Okay, I mean, so why does this get three and a half stars? Uh, it works pretty well, although it has its own limitations. It's only Illy Coffee. It is doesn't have a whole lot of control options. The app isn't all that necessary, and it is pretty expensive for this type of device. And um, you know, we like it, and we can recommend it under limited circumstances. But this isn't a coffee maker for everyone. It is, if you love Illy enough that you are committed to like subscribing to the capsules and are willing to deal with that, and you want the convenience. For Illy Coffee specifically, in a pretty small yeah. countertop form factor, it's good for that. But it's not necessarily the most flexible or powerful coffee maker you're going to find, and it's not the most economical. Um, I do have to say that there, yeah, that 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 t totally makes sense. There is actually one uh, benefit to not having a Wi-Fi coffee maker, and that is security. You're yep. not going to have to worry about uh, someone co-opting your coffee maker to do a botnet attack. Because Which has happened, I mean... <laughs> it has happened, our, that's, a, that's a legitimate concern. Our yeah. security expert, Max Eddy, has written a lot of things about yeah. the problems with the Internet of Things. Uh, I don't know if he's talked about the terrible name it has, because Internet of Things, what is that? But This is not part of it. No, it's not. Bluetooth does not, I mean, well, I suppose there are multiple steps there. You could, you know, attack it from Bluetooth connection from your phone. Very but, difficult, but though, be because very difficult. Bluetooth is yeah. point to point. It, Bluetooth is yeah. pretty hard to crack that way. Yeah. It is not nearly as vulnerable as a broadcasting Wi-Fi device. Yep. Um, so it looks like we are all good with questions. We are sorry that we cannot give you some coffee from I'm this Illy Wi-5 coffee maker. Well, I am sorry. Will is perfectly happy here drinking his, uh, what, do you, what did you call it? Coffee. No, no, no. There's a specific name for the drip plus the... It's a red eye. A red eye. So a drip coffee plus a shot of espresso. Okay. Also a name for a flight. <laughs> There's a reason uh, for that. <laughs> neither of which are, are... Well, one of them is significantly more pleasant than the other. We'll, we'll put it that way. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow with yet another one cool thing for you at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So please join us then. Um, until then, happy coffee making. And keep an eye on our ongoing Mobile World Congress coverage. because we have a whole team in Barcelona right now. It's later today there. <laughs>